What if your family did not have to choose between a, eating a big plate of vegetables and comfort food, which I think most people would pick the comfort food, at least I would, right? Well, what if you could actually have both? Wouldn't that be amazing? And what if you could just up your veggie intake with a very simple approach and one little idea today. That's what I'm gonna share with you today. If I haven't met you, welcome. My name is Alicia Jones. I'm so glad you're here. I love the Lord, I love my family, and I love to help women grow in confidence through a healthy lifestyle. And today you're gonna to find out one of the biggest ways you can do that. It's actually super easy because it comes down to vegetables. So if you would like to up your veggie intake, help your family do the same, you are in the right place. Please say hello down in the conversation below and let me know that you are here. And if you have any questions as we go through this, drop them in the conversation. So a lot of times it comes down and we think, oh, gotta eat our veggies. First of all, you wanna know how many servings of vegetables to eat for your age per day. It is different, okay? So number one, no veggies uh, servings per day for your age. It could look like this, or it could look like this, but guess what? I would advocate, I would suggest it's both. What if you did both? Okay, so number two is have a both approach in your mind, it's a mindset thing. You can hide vegetables in here, and by hiding I don't mean lying unless you really don't wanna share you know, with your family that you got some veggies in the cookies and the rolls that they're eating, but I mean puree it up and hide it. So here's the cool thing, I showed you these raw veggies, right? We all know what these look like, but did you know? that you can puree vegetables and use them inside of all sorts of baked goods. I just wanna give you some examples today. First thing for these tips today is know the serving size per your age, per day. Second thing is have a both approach. Think raw and hidden, if you will, and then make sure that you're talking about that to your family. The third thing is when you are hiding, you can hide by color, because it's a lot easier to hide uh, spaghetti squash inside of rolls. Mm -hmm. Here's some ideas for you. It's a lot easier to hide sweet potato inside of muffins. It's a lot easier to hide carrots inside of cookies. It, it, well, actually, these ones go here. <laughs> the, the green zucchini. Well, actually, it's both. But anyways, the zucchini's in the cookies. The carrots are in the peanut butter cookies over here, see? And then I have a, a bonus one for you. These are the black beans. I use these to make black bean brownies turn the brownies into ice cream cake. So if you have a birthday coming up, an idea for you would be to make a nutritious ice cream cake out of black beans. If you want some recipes, let me know. Put recipes down below and I can get you the book that I have that's got all sorts of hidden veggie recipes in it that are proven actually taste good. And something like this is in the book as well about how to make cupcakes out of vegetables. One of the biggest challenges I see when it comes to eating healthy for your family, upping your veggie intake, is just trying new things. A lot of people are don't want to. What if it turns out yucky? I get it. I've been there. And that's how come I've spent all six years actually <laughs> creating these hidden veggie recipes for myself and my family. Just had to put them in a book finally because people ask for them. So takeaways for today. What if your family did not have to choose between veggies and comfort food. What if they could have both? It is totally possible. Number one, know your servings per day so that you can actually get up there. Please remember, here's a cool mental picture for you. Please remember that veggies are like an internal scrub brush. This is what I use to do my dishes. <laughs> this is exactly what it does to your intestines, your gut, okay? But here's the huge benefit of that if you're not already aware. Do you know what resides in your gut? your immune system. Wouldn't you say that we could all use a boost in immunity these days? So that's a super strong reason, I think, to eat veggies, if nothing else. Although, of course, lots of benefits of veggies. It keeps your innards clean, which will boost your immune system. And that's always a good thing, especially nowadays, right? Okay, the third thing is it does not have to be both. You can take your raw veggies and you can take a pureed version of them. These are all just stuff I grabbed out of my freezer to show you today. And lastly, I wanted to show you some ideas about how you can, or what you can do with baked goods, cookies, cupcakes, rolls, I've got, you know, pancakes, all sorts of things. But these are ideas that you can take. And the, the biggest trick, like one other big takeaway today, this is like a bonus takeaway, um, is that when you are cooking, 
just take out some of the liquid and put the pureed veggies in. Now, if you want some more details about this, I've got hundreds of women in my group that are super curious about how to be hiding veggies in their food for themselves and their family. I have a more detailed training than I did inside that group that breaks down all the what, how, and why of how this works. So if you went into that group and you would like access to that training, please say group down below. I will get you that information, of course. And if you would like that recipe book and you kind of want to know some, save yourself some time, right? Honestly, and then have recipes that actually taste good so you don't have to waste the time and money and effort about trying to figure it out on your own. You can totally, and I encourage you that if you want to, otherwise, I'd be happy to save you about six years worth of effort <laughs> and you can have mine instead, all right? So if you want that, you can go ahead and put group down below. I hope this fun video is helpful for you gave you some ideas about how you can do a both approach when it comes to veggies for yourself and your family. Thank you so much for joining me today. Those of you that were here, I will see you next time. Have a great day.